Bike. Hey, what's up guys? This is Clay back from Ray's Rex Review page. Today we're going to build and review this electric bike. I'm going to go through how to do it. That way you get an idea of how to build it and put it together. Pedals. Bike seat. Here's the bike. Whoa! Boom. Put the kickstand on. Look at that thing. Comes with little wheel covers and stuff. There's some reflectors and some hardware. Some keys to the vehicle. All right. Let me just double check that I'm not missing any parts. So mostly it looks put together, which is great. Special intelligent chargers. So in this box, the charger, Li Ion battery. So nicely covered up are the handlebars. Oh, look at that. Okay, set those to the side real quick. So beautiful frame. Nice matte black paint job super sleek and slim looking but really awesome with the braided lines kickstand the wheels and the sharp looking brake discs nice firm but comfortable back pad here for a back rider even got the cool light brake light and reflector so this thing is killer looking look at the chain chain design and the plug so let's figure out how to build the rest of it. Nice action brakes, a little horn, speed, light. This flips up and we're gonna squish this spring in, snap in the riser. There we go, no, I can just clamp it down. Okay, straighten up your wheel, loosen the handlebar clamp, and the handlebar will fit that clamp that down and then that would be able you get you're able to raise and lower your handlebars that way looks like you can tighten down the action on that spin this clockwise tighten down that bar and go ahead and cinch there we go now it's not going anywhere bike user manual. Great to know if you're lost. But I'm just going. I'm just going with the flowing. So the battery, let's go ahead and start charging this thing as we continue to build. That way we're ready for Ray to test drive it. Got a nice XLR cable. Oh, that's awesome. And then a 120 volt plug. Here is your battery that sits inside the bike. And to remove that, there's keys here that you twist counterclockwise. It will release the pin and you can remove the battery. So we put the key in, turn it, and this pin goes inside the housing, allowing you to slide this whole battery out. Okay, nice, awesome little handle. This little trap door reveals the XLR port to charge the battery. How freaking cool is this thing, man? This AC 110 connection connects to the under the seat, power the bike. So let's charge it up while we're putting on the seat. The LI red light's on, knowing that it's charging. We got the fan going. 
let's give that a charge. Look back over to here. Got a nice little grab handle or something under the seat. You can maneuver the bike. It's got a headlight on the front. There's another little familiar clamp. We can undo, get the seat out. Comes collapsed. We're gonna tilt it back and snap it in. Look at this thing. It's got springs on it. Super nice material stitched up. The upholstery on this is awesome. You can really tell about the quality on this thing. Go ahead and slide this in. Nice, firm fit. Okay. We'll go fairly low and see how that does. So far, so good. We got, we got action. Oh, this is really comfortable. This is just gonna be the favorite in the house, I already know. So, once we got the seat on, last thing to really do is the pedals on. Pedals have these little threaded bolts on the end. Find one side, go ahead and thread your pedal onto the arm. So we'll spin the pedal on this other side. It's reverse threads on this left side, so that might have been a little, con was a little confusing for me. There's a lever under the seat. You click up, it folds forward, now you can take the battery in and out and slide it down the battery rail. Super awesome, super detailed. Let's take off the wheel covers. Look at these wheels, nice road grip. So it comes with these sticky reflector. I would either put one on the front or on the two sides of the bike to help vehicles and other people see you at night. More visibility, the better. So possibly one on the front or just go two on the sides. So I think, I think it'd be up to you really. But that's pretty much it. Look at this thing. Let me give it a little twirl. Super awesome. I love the style and look of it. The brakes. Here's the back. It's got the light and the kickstand and the back seat. And look at the front light on there. When we turn it on, here's where the key will go. And it will show power display right here, battery life and whatnot. So cool, so awesome. It's gonna be great for cruising around town, taking it on vacation, have fun with it, great for the kids. Our family has some electric bikes and now we'll be able to ride with them and hang with them. Great option. Instead of having a car, if you live close to school maybe, you could take this, lock it up. Love the coloring, love the all black. So this thing has a range of 32 miles, four to five hours charging time. It's a foldable bike, so it's great for storage. You're able to undo the locking points here and fold the bike up. Basically just the size of the back end of the bike. So you can throw it in your car. Easy to store away in the garage, 400 watt brushless motor with three riding modes. So all you could really ask for in a, in a folding bike, you know, you get many hours of riding, not that long to charge it, and it's foldable. You can put it in your vehicle, take it on trips, take it out to anywhere you wanna ride, or you can't take a car, go on some trails, bike trails, and you can pedal. You can pedal too, but also use that electric motor to help you along, so. Super stoked about it. Can't wait to have Ray try it out for you guys. Got the shocks, everything. So this thing's pretty tricked out. So let's try and fold it up real quick. So the handlebars fold down like that by undoing the lever and then pulling it to the side. All right, and then to release the middle, you bring it out you undo the latch, bring it out to the side, and you lift up, and the pin comes free, and then you can close the bike to the side. The pedal out of the way. And you can fold it completely in half. Just like that. How freaking awesome. And when you're ready, pull it out together. Straighten it, click the pin in, make sure it's seated in the, in the side and you're able to latch it down like that. And then the handlebars come over top, 
slide this thing to the side so we can sit down on the seat or sit down on the bracket. Twist this around. Make sure it's in the groove and then you can cinch that part down too and then boom, you're ready to ride, baby. Kick stand out for display, you're just hanging out. Comes with the Allen keys and a little wrench in case you need to tighten stuff up, remove stuff, do some maintenance. For me, the build, highly recommend, 10 out of 10 for me. Once the battery's all good, we'll have Ray rip it around, I'll rip it around. Go get one for yourself. All right, you guys, so we've got Raya on the electric bike. Looks pretty good. Key is on with the full charge. Okay, so she's got kickstand down and you, see, you can pedal, start pedaling and you can do the throttle. Well, you can pedal like a normal bike. Two. Ooh, look at her go. Ooh, look at her go. All right, can you stop and kind of give a little synopsis on your thoughts and feelings? Okay, so it's really quick to the touch. It's really fun, but it's really, it's touchy. Like it goes right away, right when you start moving your hand backward. How the brakes feel? The brakes are solid and there's totally like customization for the brake so when you pull back just a little bit it just like starts to slow down all the way to a complete stop it's a smooth ride it's pretty fast it feels like it's fast yeah very nice the lights look great the brake lights on um front light it's great vision it's not super dark out here but you can see a nice beam on the ground right there so stylish we've been riding around for a little bit we still have full charge so we got the blinker on, that's right. Now switch, little blinker arrows. So that's really awesome. Pull the brakes, the brake light, let go. I think that it's easiest starting out pedaling so that you have some momentum and then and Then go, oh yeah. Because it just kind of just goes if you don't. Which is fine too, but. For my first time riding it, I like to pedal first and then see ya! Well, the bike is like the perfect size in my opinion. It almost feels like you're on like an exercise bike, like you would be at the gym, like that kind of size. Um, so it's very comfortable size to me. I think that if it was a bigger bike, I would be a little bit worried. I, it, I would have had a harder time acclimating. Um, yeah, this is the perfect size for me. I'm 5'6", 150. I like that everything is adjustable. Yeah, it's pretty great that you can break it down and we brought it in the car. We'll show a picture of that. It just fit right in the trunk. No noise when you brake or anything like that. The super awesome bike. I'm really, really excited to have this. It'll be a lot of fun in the summer. Uh, just even going to the park, you saw my dog chasing after me. She thinks it's a game. So yeah, lots of fun. Really excited about